Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, Andre Ward, Sergey Kovalev, the rematch is apparently under negotiations, and I, I made a video about this. I've seen other people, people make videos about this, so I figured we haven't got the BT's perspective, so we have to get the BPT perspective now. Now, uh, it was reported in the last uh, couple of days that uh, Kovalev's team and Rock Nation, Andre Ward's team as well. Uh, they're in negotiations uh, for the rematch, and already uh, Rock Nation Sports has reserved the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas for June 17th, uh, which is the date that HBO wants to, to broadcast you know, the rematch. So as a boxing fan, as someone who really, really wants to see the rematch, that's great news because that that, that fight, um, I've, I feel... Over, Regardless of how I feel about the outcome, because we already know how I feel about the outcome. If you've been following this channel for any time or any period of time over the last three or four months, we already know how I feel about that, the, the decision. I think it was terrible. But aside from that, the fight itself—I thought I thought it was a great fight. I thought you know we had you had Kovalev, you know the, a guy who um, finally got some respect on his name for his boxing skill. Uh, which, which many people have been trying to say for a while. The dude, dude is an incredible, just fundamentally sound boxer. Has one of the best jabs in boxing, and uh, he was jabbing right, right, right through Andre Ward's guard at times. You know, he did a great job uh, with his jab. He had Andre Ward, um, not necessarily in the, in the early part of the fight, but the, I'm gonna say those middle rounds, the rounds that he won, five, seven, eight, and eleven. Uh, those rounds where he was able to get in Kovalev's chest and make him feel uncomfortable. You know, he showed. Uh, championship grit and, and, and got the canvas and, and, and show that hey, you know, maybe maybe I'm not as good as Kovalev, maybe I'm not as strong as Kovalev physically, but but I'm here. I can make the adjustments and I can compete with him on a, a mental level. And he did that. That that's kept him in this fight. His mental fortitude did. So it was a great fight. It was a really great. It was it was a good fight. It was one of the best fights we had in a while. I just think you know the the decision uh, left a, a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths. So with that being said. Um, I'm glad that's happened. I'm glad that we're getting steps for this fight to happen again because, you know, we need the fight to happen again. We need we need some clarity because um, a lot a lot of people I would say 75 percent or 80 percent I would even go as high as 80 percent of the people in the boxing world think that Kovalev level in that fight. The only people that I really know that think Ward won to be honest are like and this is not everybody. This is the majority of people that I just know. Are like super pro like Ward fans. So with that being said, I know I, I keep saying so, so. So with that being said, everybody, somebody pointed that out to me the other day in the comments. I'm, I'm gonna try to cut down on the phrase of with that being said. But anyway, this fight needs to happen. And um, you know, June 17th will it happen? June 17th? I don't necessarily know. Um, I don't think it will because the way I see it is the way I see it is this. Uh, right now, as I'm shooting this video, it's March the third. Which means that June the 17th is a little over three months away. Ward's team has never been the quickest nor the easiest team to deal with in boxing. And I don't think that's going to change. Especially not in this fight with a guy as dangerous as Kovalev still is. So, you know, I, I, I think uh, if it does happen, I, honestly, I feel like that fight would happen in November again. November, you know, late, those last three months. Like October, November, Oct uh, October, December. Like one of those three months. I don't feel like it's going to happen. Uh, in June, but if it did happen in June, that'd be fantastic. And the Mandalay Bay is a fantastic resort. It's an incredible resort. I was, it's, it, I haven't been there, but it looks, it looked mad dope when I went to Vegas. Like it was the first big building I saw while I was there. So, hopefully, the fight could happen. Um, hopefully, we get a judge, or not judge, a ref that can police a lot of the holding. And I want to see a clean, a cleaner fight. Not, not as far as like, uh, yeah, just cut down on the holding. I want to see. Not just Kovalev. Obviously, I want to see Kovalev win. That's a guy I want to see win. But uh, I want to see what War can do. I want to see what War can do in a fight where he doesn't have to hold as much. I want to see him, you know, display some of those skills that, that you guys say make him pound for pound number one. If he is pound for pound number one, I want him to completely show me on the night. So I want a ref that can police a lot of the holding and hitting. And that's what it is. So hopefully it happens. Hopefully, you know, we get a great fight. Uh, I, I think I, I said what I needed to say about Ward. And, you know, I've gone off on him way too much probably but uh, hopefully we get a great fight hopefully it happens and and, and yeah I'm, I'm just gonna remain hopeful so hold, let me know what you guys think about Andre Ward Sergey Kovalev the June 17th uh, uh, date is reserved for HBO at the Mandalay Bay Resort what do you guys think and who do you think guys wins in this fight do you think that Kovalev can make the adjustment 
and, and, and really uh, finish Ward like he probably shouldn't have did in that second round? Or does Andre Ward make even more adjustments and, and, and prove to, to not just uh, his fans, but his naysayers like myself? Does he, does he prove to people like me that he is uh, one of the best fighters in boxing? You let me know in the comments down below who wins and why. And uh, yeah, you can um, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care, guys.